When I decided to make this video, I decided to do a little Google and I Googled this title, The Biggest Mistake That Pastors Make. And it was pretty funny because there were some websites that had like 20 of the biggest mistakes or 10 big mistakes. So what that tells me is what I already knew. Pastors aren't perfect. And there are a lot of ways that pastors can make mistakes. But I'm really thinking about in ministry, as a leader of a church, what is the biggest mistake that we make? And I share this from my own uh my own experience. In other words, a mistake that I've made. And then also, as I've talked to other pastors, it's a mistake that I have learned that a lot of pastors make. And you might not even know you're making it. I've been burdened about this for a while. So I thought it was time that we make a video. Well, I want to say welcome. First of all, thanks for pushing the play button. I'm Pastor Joshua Putnam. And you have tuned into a One Take Tuesday. A One Take Tuesday means that I do the whole video in one take. Whatever happens is what you get. There's no editing other than this one thing, right? I don't know which corner it is here, but it shows up and tells you it's a One Take Tuesday. The topic of the video is the biggest mistake pastors make. And I'm pretty burdened about this. I want to share this with you. Pastors think things happen. So what am I saying? Here's the biggest mistake that pastors make. It's the mistake of assumption. They are thinking things are happening in the church and they're probably not happening in the way that you think they are or to the best of the ability that you think they are. We often tend to assume that our church people are doing more, they're accomplishing more, they know more than they do. And this is not by any means a, a slam or a, 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 a down talking down about our, the people in our church. It's more looking at us as pastors and realizing our responsibility. We think people are doing the things that Scripture calls us to do. We think people are growing. And yes, we see growth, but are they growing in the way that they really should be growing? Because what happens is something, something comes along in the church, right? We get this, uh, something hard happens, and then we realize often in somebody's life their immaturities. We see that come out when something difficult happens. The main things in Scripture that we think should be happening in the church, the main things that God has called us to do, what about discipleship? There is, I've never talked to a pastor who's against discipleship. There's, there's, I've never talked to a pastor that's against the Great Commission. But then you start asking questions, and I find the exact same thing that happened in my life. I assumed that my people were living the Great Commission. I assumed that they were discipling people. I assumed that they were evangelizing people. And pastors, you might be saying, yeah, well, I know that people are. And maybe you do, and that's good, or maybe you know that just one or two people are, and not the whole church. We have to realize the amount of work that it takes, and this was a big thing for me. When I put aside the assumption that the things were happening in church that needed to be happening, and realize that we have to equip them to do it, as Ephesians 4 said, and not just equip them kind of passively, but very intentionally equip people to do what God has called them to do. Uh, today, we're going to just talk about a couple of those, but man, what about unity? What about fellowship? We, As pastors, we can look at our churches and get a little frustrated and think, well, man, people aren't doing this or they're not doing that. Or we assume, right, that all this stuff is happening. But when you really start to to dig in and answer some hard questions, you realize they are not happening to the point that they should be. And I believe that's a good part of why churches are where they are now is because pastors have assumed that the, the major things that we're called to as a church, like discipleship and evangelism, that we are doing them and we're not. So let's talk about those real quick on this One Take Tuesday. We think people are evangelizing, and maybe part of that is because as pastors we don't really understand evangelism, or we understand it, but we give them a pass, and we say, well, we know people are handing out tracts, or they're, you know, they're, they're doing this or that, something small, but 
are they actually building relationships with people, sharing the gospel with them? We so often kind of pass off evangelism as well, invite them to church and let pastor preach to them. That's not what evangelism is. That's not what God, that's not what God expects of every single Christian. God expects every single Christian to be building relationships and sharing the gospel with people. Do we know they're doing that? And for me, and as I talk to other pastors or even other Christians in other churches, they say, well, you know what? I don't know that I'm we're doing that because I don't even know how to do that. Right? They would say, well, I'm not doing that. I don't know how to do that. Are, are you equipping them? What I had to realize was that in each of these situations, I had to actually carve out the time. I had to find resources. I had to put the time into teaching and, and really very carefully calling out for people what they should be doing, encouraging it, modeling it. It takes a lot of work, but now what we're seeing as, as people, are really a lot of them for the first time, they're beginning to go into the world, as the Great Commission says, go into the world and preach the gospel. They're, they're praying for specific people. They're, they're building relationships with certain people. They're trying to share the gospel with certain people. Same thing with discipleship. As pastors, I think this is an even bigger one. We assume people are discipling people, but maybe we don't even know what that is. And that was part of it for me, as I had to learn what it is. And then I had to learn that it, we really can't just assume that our people are discipling other people, because if they're to dis- disciple them, to teach them the gospel, to do life with them, here's what I'm finding out. And they'll say, Pastor, we don't know how to do that. We have been very intentional about not assuming that they know how to do any of that, all the way down to our church has a pathway that our people can walk through. We want them to walk through with all the resources for them to be able to sit down with somebody and disciple them, walk through life, teach them biblical things. It's important that we don't assume. We spend a lot of time teaching them how to teach others. We spend a lot of time teaching them the deeper things in Scripture. We've taught them doctrine. We've taught them New Testament survey. We've taught them how to study the Bible. We've taught them all of these things that we assume. There's another one. As pastors, how many times do we tell our people they need to be studying the Bible? They need to, they need to regularly be studying the Bible on their own, but we've never taught them how. When I started teaching our people how to study the Bible, that's what I heard was, Pastor, we're always expected to study our Bible, but nobody's taught us how to study our Bible. We cannot assume. The biggest mistake I believe the pastors make is that we assume that our people know how to and are doing the things we're asking them to do. In our church, we've tried really hard to stop assuming anything, and we teach it. We take the time to teach it. We model it. We continue to teach it. We continue to model it. And we're seeing growth in our church like we've never seen before because myself, my associate pastor, we have tried to stop assuming that things are happening or assuming that people know how to do the things that we're asking them to do. I would ask you, pastor, if you haven't taught them how to do it, where have they learned? And when I say taught them, you say, well, I've been preaching about it. Preaching about it and teaching them exactly how to do it are two different things. Let me ask you a question about discipleship. When it comes to making disciples, does your church have a reproducible plan for making disciples? Because that's what Jesus had. Jesus had a reproducible plan. So the people who who Jesus discipled, his disciples, when he called them to go make disciples, they knew what to do because they had been taught and they had a plan that they could take and make other disciples. You read Acts, what was Paul doing? Paul was doing what Jesus did. He was using that reproducible plan. Sorry about that, if you can hear that that hammering. This is a one-take Tuesday, and I will not cut that out. So anyways, the question is, what is it that you're assuming your people are doing? And maybe they're not. That's my one-take Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure you hit that like, like button, and make sure you subscribe as well. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.